So guys, welcome to your 15th 3D Studio Max tutorial, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over materials. Now, all we know how to do right here is make an object that's plain like that, and change its color using this. Well, this doesn't give us a whole lot of, you know, variety, and sometimes say we want to add pictures to each of these sides, or we want to give it, um, like, custom glow or something like that. Well, anytime we want to do something like that, we need to use materials. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what materials are. So go ahead and press M on your keyboard, and your material editor is going to pop up. And this is how you um, give any object, color, appearance, um, design to your materials. So if you want to like make a pole look metal or plastic or green or blue or whatever, this is how you do that so the first thing we're going to want to do is you probably only see six of these so go ahead and select one of these and right click it and you can change it to whatever sample size you want so again when you select it there's going to be a white box around it just right click it and uh, probably pick the most sample windows actually I'll pick one that's probably easier to see on YouTube so I'll pick the smallest one but you can I usually work with the biggest another thing that you can do is whenever you have a material and I know I'm not going to show you guys how to make materials, I'm just showing you around this, but go ahead and double click this ambient and change this to any color, just so you can see that one's different than the word, than the other ones. Whenever you want to view one a little bigger, just double click it, and that magnifies it a little bit. Again, when they're really small, like 6x4 um, or whatever, it magnifies it a lot more, but um, that's how you magnify it, just double click it. Another thing you want to do is... Once you're working with the material and you got it just the color you want, if I just want blue with a little darker, perfect, right there. And say you want another material just like this one, but you only want to change it a little bit. You don't want to get rid of all your settings. What you can do is select one. I'll select this blue one by clicking on it. Right click it and press drag and copy. And so once I have that selected, what I can do is hold this down and just drag it over somewhere and release it. And that not only keeps it copied here, but it drags it over it is here as well. So it doesn't get rid of the original, it just duplicates it. So that way, I can double click this one and change this just a little bit. So now, I guess what I'm going to tell you next is how to rename a material. The name of the material is down here. By default, it comes with standard 1, um, standard 3, standard 7 nine eight a bunch of boring standard names so anytime you want to rename one all you have to do is select the one and since this is blue I'm gonna name it like blue passion bam look at that how awesome is that and that's pretty much um, the basics of renaming that's all you have to do and there's a there'll be a drop down list if you name a bunch but anyways moving on I'm not going to concentrate a lot on how to name it because, I mean, why would I? i got to talk about some other cool stuff. Now, aside from the materials that you can make, uh, 3ds Max also has some built-in materials. And in order to get to these, what you need to do is uh, highlight one that you haven't um, created yet, like this one, Standard 3, and click this button right here. This is Get Materials, and these are to get the built-in materials. So go ahead and click that and here you can see the built-in materials and let me pick a pretty apparent one um, noise what this does is just add a bunch of random gray black and white noise so this is your new material this is actually a map and the blue ones are material but we'll be talking about that later so now you're wondering alright I made these blue passion green whatever in this how do I apply it to an object well anytime you made a material and you want to apply it to an object you can do a couple things the first thing that you can do is click this button with the material selected assign material to selection when I click this look at my object it turns to that material I created another thing that you can do is I'll do the green one this time you can just highlight this material and drag it on top and drop it and then that um, object will change to that material so again, third button from the bottom, which is this one, assign material to selection, or drag and drop. Now, aside from all this, um, what you probably 
want to know is, and I'm probably not going to be going over this, is the material options right here. Go ahead and click this button, the little globe with a checkbox next to it. And these brings you up to a whole bunch of different options. And I'm going to not be going through these because they say what they mean right here. And they're all pretty obvious, but if we're ever going to work with them, then now you'll know where to find them. This button right here, the options. So aside from this, I guess when you're working in this material editor, uh, you probably want to know like if you mess up a material or you want to get rid of it, how can you delete it? Well, if you say we have no need for this green one anymore. So what we would do is select this green one and then go ahead and press reset map material to default settings. And what this will do is when you say in this only pops up because I'm trying to delete this material and it's already in use. It's already applied to this cube right here. So what am I going to want to do? I want to affect in both the scene and in the editor slot. So I'll click OK. And now they both change back. So that's how you reset a material. And if you want to reset all your materials, if you know you're going to be working from scratch, just go ahead and click Utilities, Reset Material Editor Slots, and look at that. They all reset back to basics. So those are your basics of how to work with materials. In the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be learning how to make some pretty sweet um, materials. But for now, I just wanted to show you around the material panel. So when I'm working, you don't get lost. So don't forget to check out the next couple of tutorials. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.